Hello and welcome to what will be the first in uh, a number of YouTube videos from www.topfootballbettingtip.com A bit of a long-winded title I know, um, I was hoping that it might sort of lure more people into to looking at the site, Top Football Betting Tip, it's uh, keywords that are used in for people who search for betting on football but it seems a bit tacky now don't it, um, but we're stuck with it so let's, let's carry on. Um, today's video little bit of an introduction to the site uh, and mainly to look at the Poisson distribution model giving you a bit more background on the model that I use to come up with my predictions um, so let's let's delve straight into that there's a page on the website here Poisson distribution model that gives you a lot more detail than I will in this video um, it talks about the modifications that I use um, when adapting the model to my to my own needs um, and it also tells you exactly how to calculate all of the figures that we've got in the tables that we use um, and it gives you the formulas um, so for those of you that like the detail uh, like me and these the Poisson distribution formula um, then you can you can take a look at that that article it genuinely is pretty interesting um, obviously the model is not one that I made up myself um, so so yeah I'd suggest if you're gonna gonna follow this model then then take a look at that it, it's it's quite an easy read considering it's got so much um, mathematical stuff in it. Uh, so let's have a look at the actual spreadsheet that I use to, to keep track of all this. So this is just my own my own spreadsheet. It's not something that I'm going to post on the website. So I know that it doesn't look particularly glossy. Um, it's just a, a functional thing that, that I use, like I say. So over here is where we want to concentrate in the first instance. You'll see that I've got a list of teams. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that this isn't a full comprehensive list of all the teams in the championship in 2017-18. That's because the data set I use is, is the 2016-17 uh, league data. Um, we need more than just the amount of games that have been played so far this year to, to justify a, a credible data set. Um, so we need a longer-term view. Um, so that's why we've got the whole of last season's data but I don't include the teams that have been relegated this year from the Premier League to the Championship nor do I include the teams that were promoted from League One to the Championship uh, this year um, so you won't have Wigan, you won't have Hull um, it, those teams, it's not comparable um, Hull's home games last year were against Man United, Arsenal and Chelsea that's not compar comparable to the home games of Cardiff who were playing at home to Ipswich, Burton and Barnsley no disrespect to those teams but you know it's a different sort of standard so I don't think there's any there's any use in, in including those teams which is why we've got a smaller data set so that being said let's let's have a look at what we've got home goals um, this is the average home goals scored by Reading last season uh, it's 205 so it's the amount of goals they scored in total at home divided by the amount of games it comes out at 205 same for every team the average for the league overall was also 2.05 goals, so Reading were bang on average in terms of how many goals they scored at home. Same for home conceded, the amount of ga uh, goals conceded at home divided by the amount of games played, 0.82, so they conceded fewer than the average team, which was 1.50 in the championship last year. Then we get to the attacking and the defensive strength, which are the key statistics we need for the Poisson distribution model. Um, so to work out Reading's attack strength at home, we're looking at the amount of goals on average that they scored at home divided by the amount of goals on average in the league scored that, that year. Um, so that comes out at 1 obviously because it's 205 and 205. For their defensive strength again same concept the amount of home goals conceded divided by the average amount of home goals conceded in the league that year which is 1.50. So we come out as a defensive strength as 0 0.55 and we work that out for all of the teams. We then go on to do that for the away games. So if we take Reading as an easy example again, 1.94 goals scored away, which is the amount of goals scored in total away from home divided by the amount of games. And the average amount of goals scored away from home in the championship last season was 1.52. So again, Reading have scored slightly more. Conceded, same difference. The amount of, go gay, amount of goals, put my teeth back in, the amount of goals conceded last year by Reading away uh, in the championship divided by the amount of games they played the average comes out of two so they conceded more than average again attack and defence strength um, away from home this time so Reading 1.28 we get that by doing 1.94 divided by 1.52 which gives us 1.28 
away conceded, that's where we get our defence strength from. 2.82 divided by 2, 1.41. So by doing those calculations, we can get all of the data for attack strength and defence strength, which is what we're going to need for the next step. And I'll do the next step over here. So I'm taking the, the fixtures for this coming week, which will be the weekend of the, October the 14th. There were two games on the 13th on the Friday, I believe. Um, I know Birmingham versus Cardiff is on the is on that day, and I think I think there's another game. Forgive me, I can't remember which one it is. Um, I think it might be Nottingham Forest, but they're, they're playing somebody who aren't in my data set, so it's not listed. So to work out the results of the games or the predicted results or you know the stuff that we're looking for, we've got home attack, which is home attack strength home defence strength, away attack and a home defence. So we're looking at home attack. So we're looking at Birmingham's game for now. So Birmingham, their home attacking strength is 0.72. Their home defensive strength is 1.21. So we put that in here. And then Cardiff. Cardiff's away defensive stat is 1.03. And their away attack is 1.12. So we fill those in here, and then for home goals, this is how we calculate how many goals we expect Birmingham to score at home. And the sum is K3, I'll highlight for you here. So we look at the home attack statistic multiplied by the away defence statistic multiplied by the amount of goals scored at home on average last season, which is 2.05. And that gives us a figure of 1.52. And for the away goals for Cardiff, it's the same story but we use away attack and home defence and that's divided by the amount of goals scored away last season which is 1.52 so we've now got 1.52 and 2.06 as our figures this is where the Poisson distribution model formula comes in we punch that into the Poisson distribution model formula which you'll remember from the website looked something a little bit like this for you mathematically inclined people. So we punch it into here. Um, there are online Poisson calculations that you can do. Um, you don't have to do it all manually. So forgive me, wrong button. So what we get then is the outcome, which is what we're interested in, which is here. So we get that Birmingham come out with a 29% chance of winning. The draw looks at 21% and Cardiff, the away team, have a 50% chance of winning. And now this is the interesting bit, this is where we get our fair odds. Um, and if you have a look at the website again, I've done an article on value betting, um, which talks about value betting and bookmakers margins. So this talks about fair odds and the, the necessity to calculate your, um, your fair odds so that you can make sure you're getting value from your bets. So in terms of value betting, we're looking here. These are the odds that we think we should be offered that would represent value in the market. So we're saying that Birmingham should be placed at 3.38, the draw should be at 4.62, and Cardiff should be at 2.05. So personally, when I'm placing my bets, when you see me highlighting the bets here, I want over 50%, 50% or more for me to bet on the game, uh, on, that, on that outcome. So we've got 50% for Cardiff, and then the next thing that I want to look at, is it value, does it represent value? So the odds we're saying we should be offered a 2.05 at bet365 currently it's 2.22 so that's saying yeah it's small value it's not a massive value but it's small value um, and i'll take that bet which is why i've highlighted it and then also in the Poisson distribution model um, as you'll see in the article there's a way of calculating what you think what the most likely score will be um, and for that at the moment i've gone for 2-1 to that shouldn't be 2-1 to birmingham that should be 2-1 to cardiff so I've gone for one, two. There we go. Let's update that. So we're going for a Cardiff win and a two-one scoreline. Um, and I've done this for all of the games that fall into our data set. And as you can see, if we go down Bristol Burton, for example, um, we've got it as fifty-three percent for a Bristol win. But we're saying we should really be looking at odds of one point nine because we're not huge favourites based on our statistics. We're only being offered 1.37, so I haven't tipped that because that's not good value. So although it looks like they may win, it's not great value. So again, that's where the value betting comes in. Fulham, 61% chance of winning. 
1.65 and 1.87 we've got a bit of value there so I'll place that bet the correct score 2.21 leads again 68% 1.48 1.86 happy to have a look at that one 2-1 again is what I've got Wolves versus Villa um, we've got 29% so if I get a, a draw statistic if I get a, a game where there's neither a 50% chance of the home or away team winning then I'll go for the draw um, even though Wolves have got a higher chance of winning it's not over 50% so I'm going for the draw um, I don't necessarily look at the value in terms of um, the 3.44 needing to be above 3.28 um, or vice versa so <laughs> the draw the draw odds are always higher so I'm happy to take on the draw even though 3.28 doesn't look like it represents value I personally will take on the draw if it's if it comes into less than 50% for each team so that's why I've highlighted that one uh, and we've gone for a 1-1 scoreline so if we're looking at what I would do here these are the bets that I'll be placing I'll be placing a Cardiff win, a Fulham win, a Leeds win and a draw the correct scores um, I'd suggest small stakes um, they're not they're nowhere near as sort of um, reliable if you like as, as the win draw win statistics but um, what I like to do is maybe put them on a, a lucky 15 so um, with this one we have got four four scores so I'll put that I'll put those scores in a lucky 15 accumulator uh, and see if we can get some luck that way um, we do get do get the odd ones that do come in um, and you only have to hit a couple of them for it to, to pay off so if I have a look here see if any of these came off yeah see this one down here I haven't got the odds for what what those would have been but I imagine 1-1 one, one Cardiff Sheffield Wednesday I don't know you would have been looking at about what do you think 7 8 to 1 maybe um, so yeah you know we do it does it does throw up some again here's some that do come in um, so I mean that again it's down to down to your, your personal preference of, of whether you like betting on correct scores or not I don't spend too much money betting on correct scores this Ipswich one would have been a great a great win to be fair uh, and away correct score nil two um, so yeah that's up to you so that's just a quick rundown of, of how I use the Poisson distribution model to come up with my scores um, I've got the model for the Premier League the Championship League 1 League 2 La Liga and Serie A um, if anyone would like any more leagues investigating then I'm happy to take a look at them um, I don't do far flung leagues that have got no data or haven't got reliable data I only do research bets you won't see loads of accumulators and long shot um, rollover bets um, so if you're looking for those I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and that's that's me done good luck